Alright, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I have been loving this game, and I just can't seem to put the game down. At least, a good thing it's a long story. I've heard it's up to 36 hours. Because I'd already be like one-eighth of the way there. So yeah, I have to go upstairs. That's where the com that's where the common room is. Oh, I could literally just teleport right to him. I forgot he has that uh, waypoint right next to him. I don't hit X, I hit square. I have to remember that. I actually generally feel bad for Xbox players. They don't get to experience this game until way later. Off on another adventure, are we? Yep, to the restricted section. I keep thinking every time I go down there, I'm gonna like fall. I keep feeling there's staircases there. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I'm not certain. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Right, see you tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Oh, this is Hogwarts at night. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Uh... No way I have to equip that. Oh my God. I guess I could assign it at the bottom. Oh, what was there? There we go. than a job and all. I 
Adrian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Good idea. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Goodness gracious. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book. The restricted section. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Uh, basic cast while undetected. Low authority figures and enemies. Ghost, don't let her see you. Yeah, somebody just uh should be in the club. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No, we've tried everything from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Restricted for a reason, buddy. Restricted for a reason. Let 
Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Don't get in trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Yep. Of course. Of course. Repairer. Magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. That is gonna look fabulous on me. What does that do? Ooh, that brings my defense up pretty good. And also, it looks pretty stylish. Where might this lead? Although, I could get a better hat, but yeah. I think this looks pretty good for now. Akio. Oh. Let me listen. Surprising. Yeah. Guards at the ready. Protego! Stupid one! Levioso! Incendio! Levioso! That's a quick way to do it. Stupid. Let me open. I have a feeling a boss is coming up.
This must be the way forward, but to where? Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Yeah, I mean, you've been pretty close to death recently. Fifty two bucks and an emerald silk robe. All right, why not, man? Combat in this game is like I want to try out that new robe. You get so much stuff in this game, and it like ah, uh, but this doesn't like. I guess I could always make it say. Oh wait, I could uh make it have the benefits of it, but also be my regular robes. I'm, I'm actually starting to miss these robes. I like these ones so much better. It looks so much cooler. It is a book after all. Alright, time to get my hat a little wet. I wonder if this is a Salazar Slytherin, Godric Gryffindor. I wonder if these are those people. 
doubt it. I think these are the current your professors. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Ah, uh -huh. so there's another. There's another one just like us. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Down. Is there anything I can do? I guess not. Oh, yeah. I return to somebody's classroom. I um thank you for that. Never known this. Yes. Oh, this uh, looks a little different than the last time I saw it. Or the last time I've been here. Isn't this going to the dueling grounds? No. 
It's not. So, I guess, uh, Johnny Apology over here is learning more about the school every day. Alright. As if my ske as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has Charge me with, arra with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that if they will need an escort and mentor to help them acclimate, I don't fucking know, before the term begins, I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Of course. Actually, no, what will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Of course. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Level 8. It takes a while to get back, doesn't it? It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. 
Also oh, hell to the year. Herbology class. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Hmm. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Um... Herbology class. Damn. I I just want to know where Potions Classroom, Central Hall. Ravenclaw Common Room, Ravenclaw Tower. I'm like, I'm trying to find where the, uh, Dueling room would be. That's that's the thing, you see. I don't know where I'm gonna I don't know where I'm going. Oh, good. I can uh, just go there. That's perfect. I just love Hogwarts. Oh, and I, can you help me? And uh, I uh, I don't cut this stuff out because it's. Yeah, I don't I don't cut it out because I feel like. No, uh, exploring Hogwarts is, it's most likely something that we're never going to see on this channel again. Unless I decide to do some sort of like New Game Plus, which that's unlikely, I don't usually record New Game Pluses. <sighs> so yeah. Oh wait, wait, I'm going to duel. And, uh, well, first of all, they are not allowed to know who it is or to what house they belong in. Hold on. Gloves. I've already been seen with these gloves. They can tell my fingerprints. Uh, we're gonna wear these gloves. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then perfection. Oh, one handles.
A stone handle with a good weight to it, carved in from striking red marble. And then my wand is even a little changed up too. Oh yeah, they won't know. It's underground, how could they know? Not just run past them before they can even comprehend it. Not, not even a trace that I was in, that I'm involved in these crimes. Uh. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Of course. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Fuck no. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. What is this? We can make this a real One, victory. One, two, That's three, four. Oh my god. Who are you guys? And how stupid are you? Is that all you've got? Let me say. Akio. Get your ass over here. Alright. Let me unsay. Akio. Incendio. Protego. Let me unsay. Oh, come on, what is this? Incendio. Aha! Incendio. Aha, I figured it out. Incendio. I hear how Incendio has like very limited range to it. Incendio. I could never do it like that. What a victory! You've won the tournament! It's an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. Oh, so I, I gotta like do this. Is this the champion's garb? And now this is when, uh, you know, things start. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, this is starting to annoy me a little bit. The gloves, I'll keep the gloves. Now I'm going to get rid of the ropes for now. Wow, the robes are giving me 13 alone. I want everybody to know what they're up against now. Oh, wow. I 
completely I forgot about this. What are those? Is that a clothing option? Hang on, wait. Ew, Gear Pants Award, Legendary Cape. Yeah, how do I, uh. So it's Oh well uh Aha here it is So I'm given freedom, alas. All right, let's go to Herbology. I'm probably just gonna take a fast travel there. There, that's that's some of the closest. I think that's one of the closest I can get to. I really look like a absolute champion like this. I mean, like, look. Got the cape, I got the champion gown. Oh my god. I'm gonna be late. Oh no, no. It's my first year in Hogwarts, please. With every passing day in, in Ravenclaw, I am giving them more and more fame. I tried a knee reversal Wait until I'm known as one of the best boomstick flyers in all of Hogwarts. Harry ain't gonna have shit on me as a seeker. Oh. Uh, oh my god, this girl. Oi, you ignored me. I don't think Good I morning, forgot. Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Ah, hmm. uh, these now, guys. Everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. But she has to do that spell every I'm very day. Sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Okay, so first off, she ignores me. Then she now, tries to kill task, me. We'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Uh, it was fun. I like that. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's Vitaline's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Who offered? Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Okay, I thought you Nice supposed... work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. I Don't want... worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. I want you to watch this. Let me also. Accio. Incendio. What do you think? You need to come over here. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Sorry, this might hurt a little bit. Look at that. That's like anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Hmm. I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. Even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls and hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. 
Dogweed in Death Camp has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Akio. Incendio. Let me also. I don't know what I did to that thing, but it no longer exists. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, thank you, thank you. And I am back. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Um, I don't care much for plants, honestly. As I am, I don't really care for plants. Thank you, Professor, but looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Yeah, right. You completely ignored me when I went in, when I came in here the first the time. Mandrakes are really relishing their oh, wow. pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. Oh, I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I, I don't know who this guy is. Anyway, I probably have something to get on to. What is this? A potions class? Oh, and I'm actually running out of time for this episode. Um, so... What is this? Is this Bombarda? Confusion. What's Bombarda? Right here. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys all in the next, next one. Goodbye and have a wonderful life.